So I recently purchased a die. If you recognize these dims, then you understand. So I bought these from somebody that I would love to name drop right now. Um, I do not make my videos for views. I just make them for fun. And if they come across somebody who will gain any little piece of information, even better. But I'm not going to name drop just for views. But we'll just say he's not in America and he, uh, he kind of was one of the main guys that busted out a die and kind of made them well known. Anyway, so these are from him. I purchased them directly from him. It was actually easier to buy these off of him than it is to buy these from China. So it actually worked out for me very well. But basically, I bought these knowing full well that they are binned and these are going to be very, very good. Um, I purchased these because I'm going to put them in my wet bench and I just didn't want them to be naked PCB. Um, I think if I have a fan, I'm going to have to, because this board covers up the hole for my little fan. I'm going to have to drill a hole here, right about here, so that I can have a fan blowing on here. Um, I may eventually water cool these anyway. Um, after talking with him about it, he said that he believes a direct fan should be enough to keep them under 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, as long as they stay under 45 degrees, it should all be good. So that's the plan for now. These should be able just under direct air should be able to accomplish that goal. So all this video is, is going to be of me putting those in here. That's it. So I definitely like these sticks. These are really cool. They got the dragon skin on them. They're copper. Um, can't see the copper, but they are copper. Um, so I actually bought some better thermal pads than this and I had to order two different types. I wasn't sure um, wasn't sure what size it didn't say anywhere what size thermal pad they were using so I bought the 1M and the 0.5. Um, so I'll have to pull those out, but I think I'm going to use those instead of these just because like just a, a little desperate attempt to, uh, not have to water cool it from the start. I would prefer not to have to, but these, um, are rated at like 20 Watts or whatever. Um, which apparently is pretty good. So we'll see. You'll have to excuse my English bulldog puppy barking in the background. I got cartoons on for him. His bigger brother is ignoring him at the moment. So he's a little angry. But anyway, um, so yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these out and because I don't have a caliper. I'm not sure if that's one millimeter or 0.5 millimeters. So there's only one way I'll be able to find out. All right, so after comparing 
the two of these. Um, it is the one mil. So we'll be using the one mil here. Um, another thing, when you look at the diagram on how to put these together, I mean, it's super straightforward. Um, but uh, it shows that they want the face of the ICs up against this one. Now, the same guy that I purchased these Adai off of, he made a point of how this is actually the only side that gets cooled, especially on liquid. But, I mean, pretty much on air, too, is that because the top piece is what's getting air blown on it the most and is the only part that comes in contact with liquid water or liquid nitrogen. I keep saying liquid, but I mean water. Um, but this is the one that the ICs should be in contact with. And <clears throat> um, these are not the same um, heat sinks that he was using, but the diagram shows it the same way that they want the ICs on here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the ICs on this and it should work better. Even though these are not made for water cooling. So if I, um, not made for water cooling, I do believe that these are made for LN2. So there's just no water block designed to fit on top of this but there is a liquid nitrogen block apparently, or whatever you call it, that sits on there. I do not do liquid nitrogen yet, yet. It's the year 2023. Maybe if you're watching this video in 2027 or something like that, then maybe I do do liquid nitrogen, but as of this point, I do not. Okay, so we got the first side covered. Uh, this is the new part <clears throat> on DDR5, so got that covered too, and I'm going to put it on the big one. So, now all the videos of this that I've seen, this is actually the hard part, is trying to flip it over. So, I'm going to try and do it, and I'm, I'll do it off camera, but what I'm going to try and do, is I'm going to just try and lay this over the top and then pinch it together and flip it over. Um, it doesn't really seem to be that hard to do on ram sticks. I think uh, I think you really get into trouble when you start trying to water block graphics cards and stuff like that. This shouldn't be that hard. All right, so I got the first one done. And uh, first thing I will say is that these things are beefy. They weigh about a pound a piece, if I had to say. Maybe not quite a pound, but I wouldn't want one of these to be thrown at me. I'll put it that way. They are heavy. And it seems like we've got pretty good contact in there. If I can get it to focus. Looks pretty good. Kind of looking at the edge a little bit, but... Seems, seems like the ICs are squished in there pretty good. So, should work pretty well. Hoping anyway. So, first one's done. And, uh, go ahead and get started on the second one. Alright. <clears throat> Got the IC side done, flipped it over. One thing that I kind of noticed might help anybody watching this is uh, I took that lip. Of course, if you're gonna do it the way I did it, I took that lip right here and I placed it on the mat and then I kind of scooted it up, up to the PCB here. 
because the first time I did it, the first time I did it, there was a little bit of the green PCB sitting over the screw. And I didn't realize it at the time until, until I started looking at it. I was like, oh, that's, that's why it's so close is because it was sitting up over the lip. So second time I did it, made sure that, that, uh, it was on that edge instead of sitting over the lip before I tried to put the back plate on. All right. So I'm going to try and show how I did this on the last one. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it with one hand like this, but so I basically kind of did a torque pattern where I'd bring them down in three steps. I don't think it really matters to be honest with you, but trying to get some even distribution of the thermal pad here, like we don't want it to be squished in the middle and then not, you know, really getting any pressure on the ends or whatever. So just kind of start them and then Give it a little bit in the middle and then at the ends. Then we'll just give her a decent little snug at the end. I should do it, man. So. It's actually in there pretty decent, to be honest with you. I've seen them a lot worse than that. So, you know, zoomed in like that, you can see all the little, but that's just, so there's, you know, ICs here, and then there's nothing in the middle, and then there's more ICs on the end, so it doesn't really do anything in the middle, so it's kind of loose there, but up here against the ICs, looks like there's really good, really good contact, so, so yeah, absolutely beautiful sticks, and I don't think I've seen a video of anybody else showing them doing this with the Chinese a die. So Chinese dragon for the Chinese a die. So cool. Thanks for watching. Um, I already have a video up of my Mora. So, you know, if you're looking to do this kind of stuff, um, I don't get like super technical with it. I figure honestly, if, uh, if you've gone this far in your journey, you've already got a pretty good idea what you're doing. But if you see a little something in here that's like, oh, you know, like, why did he do it this way? You know what I mean? Which if, if this wasn't my build, I'd be like, why didn't he do a 90 off the end? And the answer to that question is I did do a 90 on this end. Well, why didn't he do a 90 on this end? Well, the answer to that question is I did do a 90 on this end and it didn't work. There was way too much torque on this hose for there to be a 90 here. I didn't like how it was pushing like it was really kind of tugging that way so I cut her about four inches longer and just did a straight loop so I actually am not a fan of how that looked but the cleaner way of running the line didn't allow the shroud to go on so anyway um yeah I'll be posting some more videos um like subscribe pretty please have a good one guys